Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I am showing you how you can find overall first aid or first aid by dimension or category. So identifying the first aid let's say you are dealing with sales data then what is the first purchase date or maybe first ship date or if you are dealing with the financial data when was the first loan taken and things like those so many times we have to do or identify these type of dates and do the manipulation so i want to show you how you can find the overall first date that means by looking at the entire data uh, let's say we want to know when when a particular transaction was started or a sales was started um, and then we, i want to show you if let's say we want to view it by a particular dimension let's say you want to know when we did the when we uh, gave the first credit card or when we gave the first loan so there are like multiple categories you have cards you have loans you have overdraft and things like those then you want to know the first date of allocation based on that or maybe by product you want to know the first date of sales so in scenarios like those we need to know the first date by dimension or category so before I move ahead, just a quick information that this sheet, uh, it is a live Google sheet and the link for this sheet, you can find it in the description so that you can easily come here on this sheet and access my videos very easily by simply searching here. The text is present here and the link is present in the column B. So if you want to know about a particular subject or anything, you can do it. Also, if you want to create your own playlist or something, uh, by let's say by DAX or by visualization or the dashboards which I have published so far. So in that case, you can simply go ahead and utilize this information uh, as per your convenience. So since it is a live sheet, it will be uh, having all of my future videos as well listed over here. All right, with that, let me come here in the uh, Power BI. So the first thing first is uh, going into the data section and we have the order date over here. So this is nothing but the very simple uh, sample superstore data, which is uh, having you know, your customer name, when you have, uh, in which segment you have made the sale, what is the country region and so on and so forth. So order date is something present over here. And if you see, if I click it over here, 3rd Jan 2017 is basically our overall first date, right? So if we have to uh, find out, let's say we want to do some sort of a calculation that what is how many days have passed between first sale and the current sale, which is let's say 1707 2019, then we can do that using uh, a column creation. So if I just expand that and I can click on the new column and when I click on the new column it will ask me here first order date and very simply I will just write this min function minimum of order date isn't it so it will going to identify what is my first order date or what is my minimum order date because dates are also represented as numeric backend into the system and putting a min formula will give you this right so if i just correct the spelling here first order date and click ok will give you the third gen 2017 now similar to min you can also find the latest order date by using the max function right so practice that um, min i have shown you similarly say last order date or latest order date and do the maximum order date. That's sort of an exercise that you can do. All right, but if I come here in the report section and uh, create a table, right? Let's say matrix. And I have, let's say for example, the product subcategories, like accessories as a subcategory appliances and all. Then if I use my first order date, where are you? first order date over here and i will say i don't want to use hierarchy uh, sorry i don't want to use hierarchy but just the first order date so it will it will just it will not show me anything unless i put it in here in the column but 
In the column, you can see there is just one date, 3rd Jan 2017. But let's say my requirement is that I want to know my first date based on category, right? So in, the, in those scenarios, we may have to tweak the formula or we may have to change the way we have created the uh, calculation but by going not into the new column but the new measure okay so for that i will simply going to create a new measure and i will say first order by cat category or subcategory whatever uh, and over here i will going to write is again the same formula min of order date right and let's check this first order date by category and we just put it over here first order date by category all right why have you not come okay if i enable that close this nope not here okay probably it is a measure that's why it is not coming but if you see um with this, the order date, if I just click outside here, the first order by category is coming over here. The only thing is it is coming here as a measure, right? But it shows you for accessories, what is your first order date? For appliances, what is your first order date? For R, what is your first order date? The whole idea behind this is that uh, once you know what is your first order date, let's say by any category or anything, then using the measure that you have created, the whole idea is you can use this inside another measure. For example, you want to know what is the first and latest day or maybe the first or the second or by uh, let's say customer you are looking at it. Then you can use this uh, output into another measure for further calculation, right? To know the number of days and things like those. So that's basically an idea I wanted to give you, wanted to give as to uh, how you can find the overall first date over here right if that's let's say a scenario you are dealing with or if you have a scenario where you want to frame a calculation where you need to know what is the first date by category or something like that then you can use this first order by category uh, by creating a measure simply a measure like this it will going to give you the va these values by category and we can validate as well so for example, for accessories, it is 19th Jan, 2009, Jan 2017. And for appliances, it is 18th Jan. So accessories 9th Jan and appliances 18th Jan. So let's go ahead and uh, try to just validate what we have done. So we have first as, sorry, not here in the subcategory, the accessories and click OK. So for the accessories, if you see the first order date is 9th Jan, right? And we can just double check here. Accessories 9th Jan. For appliances, it should be 18th Jan. So if I come here and uh, where is my filter? There you go. Appliances should be 18th Jan. If I click OK and order date 18th Jan. So that means the output that I have created is perfectly fine. And I click OK. So this, this idea or this output then can be used into another calculation for viewing the, um, for viewing the uh, let's say a range of these or things like those. Uh, also along with another calculation like for example for the along with these values if you want to pull another measure then you can also pull another measure like the one over here and things like those but the whole idea is that uh, probably it will not going to represent the correct value or it does not make sense to use this or this together until and unless uh, your user is coming and saying hey i want to know what is the first date when it purchased and what is the overall sales right in that case it may make sense but not not like this one so that's what i wanted to show you uh, how you can do now i have created the first order by category you want to you may want to create the latest order by category and create a range what 
how many days have passed between the first order date and the latest order date in for this so that means you will what what you will going to get to know is um, in which category you have um, you have the maximum days or you have the minimum days minimum days indicates that uh, uh, for this category way, way many days or months or years back um, you know they have stopped purchasing it but wherever you have the high range that means still the purchasing is going on so some sort of threshold some sort of ideas will come out when you will produce it so in both the cases i have created the first date now you need to create the last date and create a number of days between this by subtracting the first order from the last order date so with that i wanted to leave with this homework to you and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic